Hi, this is Michael Tapes from Michael Tapes Design, and we're really, really excited to tell you about Focus Tune version 3.0. It's a major advance over Focus Tune 2.0. It's a free upgrade, so there's no cost involved for those of you who are already licensed. What we're able to do in version 3.0 is harness the full power of lens line. In Focus Tune 2.0, we read the target from Lens Align, and the advantage of using the Lens Align target is that it was perfectly parallel to the camera, which is very crucial to getting accurate results. But in Focus Tune 3.0, using new patent pending technology, we're also able to read the ruler along with the information from the target to form a compelling graph never before being able to be done. So now what we can do is actually show you where in space the images have been focused. They should focus on the zero line, but as you see here, of course, based on the different AFA settings that we've made in the camera, we can see that these are front focused, uh, they come into a reasonable range here, and then these are back focused. It's as if you're looking face down uh, on lens align with the zero line and these images being back focused and these being front focused. So this gives you a, a really simple and intuitive, easy to understand way to interpret the results from focus tune. In addition, uh, of course, we uh, lens align even without focus tune is able to uh, describe the uh, focal position, the focus plane of each picture, but we had to look at it with our eyes and it was somewhat, uh, you know, could get confusing after looking uh, to multiple, multiple images, but it's still the best way to see how the depth of field is being laid out for a particular lens. Well, now with focus tune 3.0, we give you a focus mask, which now makes it far easier to check your settings and validate uh, the settings that Focus Tune has shown you. Those are the direct benefits of Focus Tune 3.0. Let me show you the differences and how it works. Okay, let's go through our session with Focus Tune version 3.0. We've got a Nikon D800 with a 50 millimeter 1.4 lens uh, mounted on a tripod. The lens aligns on a tripod. We did the alignment so that we have the rear dot uh, centered in the front dot, and then we put the large focus target uh, onto the system. So the uh, camera is about four feet away from the lens align, both on tripods, everything's aligned, and we're ready to go. I'm gonna take uh, five pictures each at minus 20, minus 15, minus 10, et cetera, so we call that step five. And let's uh, launch uh, focus tune and import those shots. So we'll go to those shots which are here. Okay, I want to show you the new cropping system. So we're going to crop uh, in version 2.0 we would do these two corners and now in version 3.0 we also do the uh, dot in the center of the circle uh, in between the 24 and the 4 the bottom 24 and 4, and then right in the center of this zero. And notice that I'm using the light side of the ruler. Okay, we also have this new crosshair, so it shows us that I am aimed uh, properly in the target. If I was uh, much off from this, I would uh, repoint the camera a little bit to get it centered, but this is just uh, on the margin. We're good. We've got the target menu set to lens align mark 2 with the 4.6 inch target with grayscale. So that's the newest target. And we're going to be doing an AFA test, and we're set. So we press uh, what used to be called Analyze, but now Analyze and Graph. And we get our new 3.0 type graph. Uh, that's really great. So rather than show you the sharpest image, we're showing back focus and front focus. As you see here, so these shots at minus 20 are front focused kind of gets better, well, much better, at minus 15, that's about where it's going to be, and then minus 10 and minus 5 all go back focused more. Okay, now we don't have a single zero line. The reason for these two red lines and why this is in red and says 47.4% accuracy is because we haven't shot any pictures at the AFA that's going to be the proper setting, so we don't have the sharpest pictures that this camera lens are capable of doing, and therefore we're not going to establish a zero line because we don't have anything sharp enough to do that, and that's what this is telling you. Uh, but it's fine for where we are because we're trying to establish the sharpest point.
So uh, let's do uh, two things here. Let's also uh, take a look at our new uh, focus mask. So we hit sharpest over here and we see the sharpest picture uh, is kind of perfectly set up uh, as we'd expect. So that's uh, working out well. So it looks like that uh, where it thinks the zero line is, is, is good. And uh, let's just go, if we look at that graph again, and we see that zero is in the uh, 300 range, the back focus 300. So let's just uh, get an image which uh, is back focused about 300 and just see what that looks like. So I'm going to, uh, here's 311. I double click on that, which brings it up in this window. And now you can see how back focused that is. And now if we hit swap, it's going to uh, swap it with the last picture we viewed. So this was the sharpest. And this is how the camera shoots uh, without doing focus tune, uh, without doing a, uh, an adjustment. So you can see this is very cool. And you can see exactly what's going on. So then, uh, based on the graph, we shot um, single step, uh, minus 15, minus 14, through minus 10. So we'll import that. And that was this session here. Okay, we're not going to have to redo the crop because the camera hasn't moved. So we uh, just redo that. Press Analyze and Graph. And we get our graph, and it looks like, notice the uh, zero line accuracy has turned blue. It's not red. We have a zero line because it now has enough shots where it can determine that this, in fact, is a proper zero line. We've taken the shots, and it looks like minus 13 is the magic number. Let's come over here and just uh, confirm that. So shot looks very good. And I want to show you one more thing. And that's, uh, I did a uh, check of focus consistency. So I did 20 shots uh, with the camera set at minus uh, 13. And now we go to AFC 10. What that means is it's going to group these shots in groups of 10. So we can see it's easier to see the consistency. So we'll take a look at that. And we see, okay, that's slightly front focused and... Uh, so it's very close, so the camera is uh, pretty consistent, but it looks like uh, it's slightly front focused, but let's take a look and see what that looks like. Let's take a look at the uh, sharpest one. Okay, so that's looking good. And then let's take a look at, um, look at that graph again. Uh, let's take a look at minus 100, because that seems to be where the camera uh, is shooting right now. So if we take a look around minus 100, uh, we end up here and we see that the difference swap between that the sharpest and that difference is, is not uh, great enough to worry about. So you may want to set a minus 12 to move it back a touch, but I would leave it exactly where it is. The camera's not going to focus precisely in the same spot both times. So very quickly, we've learned that this camera is uh, a minus 13 setting is great. You saw the uh, setting at zero, which was tremendously back focused. So we've really enhanced the sharpness. And you can see that version 3.0 software is uh, much easier to use, a lot more data, a lot more information. And I hope you really like it. And there'll be more videos and documentation coming as we go along. Thanks.